Joseph B. Stewart, AW1. Well, when I first started out, it was through family. Uh, my father was drafted uh, in the Navy and sent to the Arizona, but he didn't stay because he had four children, so they kicked him out. My father's name was Will A. Stewart, but he did not, he, he hardly even got to the ship before they, uh, before they sent him home. They didn't know he had four children. They found that out, <laughs> so uh, he, was, he was really drafted wrong. And then my brother, my oldest brother, went in. His name was William Augustus Stewart, Jr. And went aboard the Putman DD-757. The thing that I remember most was the food stamps, the black curtains. Um, <laughs> I remember my mother telling us that. We were eating the horse meat. Um, a lot, a lot came to, to view about World War II, because everything, but, but, but as a family, we didn't have that much problem. My father had gardens, so we didn't have to worry about food or nothing like that. Um, once he came back home, uh, it, was, it was like, you know, the war wasn't even going on. The only way we got news is we had to go through the theater. And in the theater, they would have programs that showed you what was going on in World War II. But I did have a cousin that was in World War II in the Battle of the Bulge. He was a demolition expert. He got a battlefield commission for his, and it, oh God, um, I, had to, I had to study a long time before I found out he was even there because they never showed any picture of him being in the Battle of the Bulge. So, uh, I, I still have his picture there. But I remember his name was so uh, Leon Stewart. What got me really interested in airplanes was when I was 12 years old, President Roosevelt died. And his train stopped in our neighborhood. And when it stopped in our neighborhood, all of these planes were in the sky. And I asked my dad, I said, how do those planes stay up there? And he said, I don't know. I said, well, I got to go and find out. So when I went back to school in my senior year, I switched to aer aeronautics. And that's how I really got interested in airplanes.